Hello, my name is Tyler Kern, and today's message is called Faithful in the Small Things. I don't know about you, but I've had a busy week, and I currently have a lot on my plate. I went back to work while taking classes at the seminary, while pastoring in a virtual online church, and my schedule has been so full I barely had time to do the essentials like sleep and eat and exercise and spend time with my family. This reminded me of a verse in the Bible, and it's found in Luke chapter 16, verse 10. One who is faithful in very little is also faithful in much, and one who is dishonest in very little is also dishonest in much. So you see, even though I've had a busy week, I've had to rely on God to get me through it. I've been so busy doing the very important things that I haven't had time to do the not so important things, like watch TV or spend time on social media. So here's my thought for you today. Pattern yourself after Christ in every area of your life. Be faithful over the little things. Be faithful over every assignment. Be faithful with the resources you've been given. Be faithful in your work. Be faithful in your business. Be faithful over everything that God has blessed you with. And He will enlarge your assignments. Let God lead your steps in the small things because He is shaping your character in the small things. Choose to be faithful over the small things and He will send you greater assignments. Patterns and habits are established in these small assignments. So before you move on to the next project, get the first one right. Then you can identify your strengths and your weaknesses. Ask God to lead you in every area of your life. When you begin to feel the load weighing you down, when you begin to feel the doubt creep into your mind, when you begin to feel like you can't handle it anymore, like maybe it's just too much on your plate, pray. Talk to God. Let Him help you. Then you will see that God is there to strengthen you. And when he sees you are faithful in the small things, he will reward your faithfulness with even greater things. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for strengthening us when we feel weak. Thank you for giving us the courage when we're afraid. And Lord, I just pray for everybody watching this video, Lord. I pray that you come into their hearts and you fill them with your Holy Spirit, that they can be faithful in the small things and you can reward them with even greater things. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week. Take care. God bless.